I trust this will suffice. God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your sexpit, beggar! A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His Majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? No. Huh? Louise. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Here begins the demo prologue of Metaphor Refantasio. What we have to offer you is but a taste of the story from its beginning. But through it, your experience will mirror the full version. Should you wish it, you may carry over your save data to the full version. We thank you for expressing your curiosity about our tale of fantasy. All right, well, while this is, like, here, and I can say something, what's up? Richard Ringman 5678 here, and welcome to Metamorph, uh, Metaphor, um, so, long Japanese title. Pretty much, that's it. Anyways, um, so, yeah, man, listen, this is game I am fucking hyped for, dude. It is the second game that I'm hyped for right next to Silent Hill, and it's actually coming out a few days afterwards, so, um, yeah, um, if you played Persona, then these are, this is made by the same people, which I'm, which is awesome, dude. Cause these guys, man, they're so talented, dude. Um, so there's a lot of people that work on the Persona series that, like, they'll make their own game or make a different game, and it's pretty good. Right now, I'm currently going over Monarch, and, uh, that's a pretty cool, it's like an anime horror Persona-like game, so. Alright, anyway, let's get into it. No time wasted. Okay, there you go. Refantasio. I'm just gonna call it metaphor. Alright. Let's just get into it, man. I mean, I don't wanna wait. But one thing that this game is already impressed me by is the UI design. It's definitely one of the best I've ever seen. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are. Please tell me, does our world pique your interest? Kind of. Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Uh, who are you? What's your name? Uh, we'll just go with, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to put my real name out there. Come on now. 
You will name the protagonist later? Okay. <coughs> Is it? You never heard a raven before? might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. Oh, I didn't realize it. Thanks for letting me know it's not real life. something so far removed from you. If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? Not really. I mean, I wouldn't really say it's limited because you can literally do anything. And if it's not kind of correlated to like the real world, then it's technically fantasy. Star Wars is fantasy. Lord of the Rings obviously is fantasy, you know? More than wishful thinking. More than fiction. Something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. Pretty much. This must be what you believe. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. I ain't no bitch. Of course we're gonna go the hardest one. Oh. Alright, I guess we'll go normal then. We're in the clear. <clears throat> the capital's just through this desert. Is it true that <clears throat> the king is dead? Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the roads safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... An igniter? How'd they get rid of those? Come on, come on! Keep it moving up! That's right! He's an elder! So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line. Let's want to get stuck like us. It shouldn't have that before the guy died or something. You drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand aside. <laughs> This place already feels like a death trap. 
You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. What mission? Come on. This oh my is god, no the main character actually has a voice. <laughs> That's really new are, for it's all over, uh, right? for an Atlas game. Important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. All right, try to your desert. Think we'll make it? Oh, okay. So, yeah, one thing about, like, Japanese games, sometimes, like, you'll watch a cutscene and they'll talk, and then, like, after that, they'll just say, hey, look at that, and then there's, like, a whole line of dialogue, you just gotta read to yourself. It's kind of weird. Uh, you don't look hurt, though, so that's good news. You can move, right? <sighs> I'm thinking we should find a place where we can see the whole area. So, like, a Assassin's Creed high peak area. All right, we can do that. All right. Let's go. Oh, shit, that's a lot of UI, though. Wait, since something closed, don't move. What the fuck? Watch out! That's so dangerous. I don't think they noticed us yet, though. Okay. Face sight, OCC, an ability, blah blah blah. I don't show up on no best pick okay. again. Wow, there's a lot of creatures around Stay here. Stay vigilant. These ones aren't messing around. Okay, so I'm guessing it's, it's just telling me don't mess with these guys. That's fine. Um, right, gotta go past that almost chimera looking guy. Alright, nice. Look. Checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? <laughs> I like his voice acting. Oh, that's oh, funny. Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives. First, we get to the royal capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you. I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I've I never heard that before. I cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. Uh, if still music is playing directly in my mind, this pathetic Galaga play. I hope you guys can hear the music, because the music are usually fantastic in this game. Makes the world a little easier. I like it, I like it. Look! Over there! That's the road, isn't it? What a relief, Grand Triad is already in sight. Let's go. I was just keep moving until I stayed outside. Got you, mate. Got you. All right. It's all clear. I do kind of want to get into combat to see what it's like, but I mean, that's a lot of enemies too. Man. Holy shit! Okay. Fuck it. Come here, bitch. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Okay. I get the message. Don't fight. <laughs> Don't fight. Hey, I'm white out, right? Alright. It's useful, I say grab it. Oh shit, yeah, we definitely ain't messing with that guy though. Oh boy. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> Tell you man, the music is so good. Not good. Run for it. <laughs> this land of eight tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power. <laughs> United Kingdom of Euchronia. The year is 785. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart. 
And no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. O oh, great seeker, bearer of fantasy empowered. Hear my wish and come forth from thy epoch or epoch. Oh, okay. Y'all got that? Good. <laughs> Alright, let's go of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead. <laughs> Damn. Yeah! There's no way that crowd is going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you, special coin? <laughs> Bless you. Um, I've got some questions. Careful. <laughs> Did like a cat fuck a person or did a person get fucked by a cat uh, don't you have any street smarts come on kid <gasps> look we're not tourists here we've got to stay focused all right you noticed back on the wagon you might be the only elder here in the whole city even Was incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Plumars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds now like that the feral. <laughs> the They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best, the saint, could purify this affliction. Over ten Damn, she years, got he's languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. 
Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. By the way, if you're like new to like the Persona so? like games or like Japanese games in general, stuff like that. One thing, yes, you probably already noticed is that we're about 20 minutes in and all we have done really is watch a bunch of cutscenes. That's pretty much what it is. It's not a game that you can just, you know, go, 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 get some action, Call of Duty and all that shit. Nah, man, it's like, you know, you kind of just... You just gotta go through the story, live with the story, you know, let let the let the story let the game guide you to like what it wants to show you. So but I like these kinds of games, you know, it definitely helps change the pace of uh, most of them. I don't know uh do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit you're lost and ask me for it, but fam, of course I'm gonna need you, fam. Uh Okay, and we can just save our progress right away. Ooh, I like that. So usually with Persona games, um, the only way you can save is, well, yeah, going to safe areas or like when you're in a palace, you gotta go like find a uh, room or some shit. But uh, I like the fact that we can just uh, save on the spot. All right, where are we going? Time for detours. If you're lost, check your map. Straight down the street, you should find the recruitment center. Okay, so you're straight down here. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda thought I was gonna go through these people. So. Let's go see. Yeah. Alright. Oh man, talk to scary ladies. Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. What's a magic igniter? See? There's a couple in the window. Like an instrument plays a tune, an igniter casts magic. Pretty hard to come by out in the countryside. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? <coughs> I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. I'm not gonna lie, you look Are like you, to our fair city? you look like the girl who well, plays Shogoku in uh, you keep a low profile. or uh, sh 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 Shoki. You don't oh, want fuck. to catch the eyes of the. You look like a Persona Five character, okay? Ah, but I think it's Shoki. Of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. That looks way this too expensive. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. Ah, uh, bro, that is going to be way too much expensive. Uh, might as well. How much is it? You're not really going to fall for that, are you? How would you even know what the royal scepter looks like to begin with? You really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. Man, answering my question, lady. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, <coughs> it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead. No living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there. Oh. Alright. 
Oh, I just realized I have a mini map. Like, wow. I'm, I'm oblivious, aren't I? Dude, that is such a good, like, transition screen. Like I said, man, I really do like the... The style of the... Fucking HUD here. Um, I was hoping that we blend in with the crowd and no one noticed you're an elder. But the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. We don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. Easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center is what it's just what we're looking for. You know, this universe kind of uh, reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy twelve, I believe. That is the one where you're playing, um, you know, in the desert and shit like that, I hope. So. That must be the recruitment center. A little less sandy, but... I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Uh. It? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's worth. I'm looking to enlist. I think I look kind of cool on the whole lot. An apathy one, aren't you? Fine, lordling. Welcome to the guard. Where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one. <laughs> All right, next. Hurry it up. Huh, an elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? Uh... I honestly, I don't even know. But fuck it. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? Wow. Uh, I feel like this is kind of like one of those things. So one thing about Persona games, they ask you a bunch of questions. Um, or at least I remember in Monarch, uh, they ask you a bunch of questions. And, and like at the end of all those questions, you'll kind of like, that's how they'll build your character. Um, oh, it's stronger than, or I can take a lot of punishment. I mean, I could be tanky, but I do like action. I'm too stronger. I'm stronger than I look. With arms like that, you'd have to be. <clears throat> right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Might I put my name in? No, I should be already there. Wait, I gotta actually say it again. That's interesting. Alright. Um. Yeah, we'll go Raven. You know, I feel like Noctis would have been a cooler name, you but... You know let us oh, well. do you. We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're shorthanded as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Stand it as you guard with an armor and igniter. Kingdom property! So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way, now. Up to... Next. Uh. A long line. Guess we got no choice but to wait our turn. 
Uh uh, I ain't paying. I ain't playing postal too. Fuck oh. that. Russian Mario Ducks. Uh, Whatever. So young. Are you listening to? Well, not much choice if you don't have money. money if you don't have money for a job, it makes the world <coughs> go around as it is. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Cutting is only gonna get you chewed out. Oh, shit. Whoa. You're listening as well. The line starts behind me. If so, or was it something you needed? Are you really a noble? I take it you overheard my interview. Interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I am a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Well, well let's just say I have my own circumstance. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom, foolish or not. Alright. Oh, that's a... That's interesting. That's a date. See, I, ha I, I haven't really been focused on too much of this game because I already I knew when I saw it at first sightings. that I was going to, like, probably most likely pick it up. What? So... Those huge monsters. It's like... I don't want to spoil too you much for me, you know? On soldiers? <sighs> Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um... Human... Next! Another Clamar. <laughs> Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it! There's a priority hey, around. Hey, bitch, hold up. We're Wait your turn. Squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force. You know, it'll be better in your ass, my foot. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Oh, Let's send my homeboy here. I don't even know the name of. You think your pretty words will measure up to pure result strength? Oh, to forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just <laughs> felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, you igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> The thing around his neck is apparently a magic igniter. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms, like I saw on the main street. Mm. And take this too. Protect it with your life. Good. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger, and as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security, detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you are to survive. Pain. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. This vest! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet, but he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey, you awake? <laughs> is it morning already? Does it look like morning? Look, I just... 
have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still... When you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open... It's a lot. You okay? That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? I'd rather not think about it. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I'll drop it. The prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. The Megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. Well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Record the events thus far, I, I guess. Ah, okay, so that's me if I want to save. Yeah, I guess. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading. And I hope that someday, we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth. By tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me.
I won't give up either. Trust me. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. Let's see. We're not far we've come. Let us find our destination the northern border front. World map. Got interesting. This place here. Let's see. Fort camp. Land used to rest by armies who are en route to northern the border cave. front. Don't forget. Contact should be. Uh, let's go. Okay then. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. Oh, finally! I can hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you blackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earned rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades, Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword, thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Ugh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. I apologize for him. See? Take a cue from your friend in the lesser tribe. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, Keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, 
As for you, fresh meat? Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen, stay on guard. Is is too. Uh... He's unconscious. Not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Uh, anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's <laughs> wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Or are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear. Fight with pride. And we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's... a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a... fairy? Did you catch it yourself? She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. I'm with you. Hi. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. It's unexpected an event, but don't lose sight of our mission, okay? Here we go. Alright, care for concerts to be inside, we should just have to find them. We went with such prowess. What was that you were talking about? You said something about your ally? Oh, it's nothing. Just uh worried about the soldiers ahead. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, even though it's not letting me save, so I'm gonna start the next part. But like I said, I knew this is gonna be a multi-part checking out video. And I'm happy of that. So, slow start. But, I mean, like I said, you gotta let these games take you through the journey. Imagine a roller coaster, okay? You can't force a roller coaster to go faster. It's just gonna go wherever it feels like. So, anyways, we got part two coming up. So, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.